It's been programmed into our brains. Will you, Rosie? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Good night, ma'am. One day robots... Go, go, gadget, big time! ...will run the world. I am a robot of the class M3. I remember when I was a kid and I would see things like that. I would kind of think it's unrealistic, way too far in the future. The future. Welcome to Texaco. You can trust your car to the system with the star. But that day is sort of here. It is all of those childhood cartoons and televisions come to life. Thank you. Go Wildcats. At least at the University of Kentucky. Come on, buddy, I love the robots. Yeah. You kind of treat them like little animals. You give them pats while they're walking by. You'll watch them like just going by doing their own thing. Like I think they're kind of cute. This fleet of robots hits the streets delivering when students are looking for a bite. We do do, you know, upwards of 300 orders a day. It starts with the Grubhub Plus app. Hi. A stop at one of a dozen campus restaurants. Josh. Like this Starbucks. Continues with Big Blue School Spirit. <laughs> Some weird looks from newer students. A couple of close calls. There is a few that have run into me before. Is your toe okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm fine. <laughs> Crosswalks. Um, it can read crosswalk walk signs to tell it that it's safe to walk the street. Then it rolls up to a hungry or thirsty student. When I was studying for exams and I was like, oh, I don't have time to like walk and go get food. Like I can sit here, order it. Each robot is built to prevent spills. The cups just fit down in there smoothly. And stop <laughs> before getting crushed. It is watching everything that's going on around it. I know what you're asking. How did these things exist in environments known for? We're going streaking through the quad and into the gymnasium. Come on, everybody! We'll call it lively behavior. It is locked and secure so no one can um, get to your food but you. Guess the makers of those old shows and movies were on to something. Destroy, destroy. Abort! Maybe. In Lexington with photojournalist Dominic Furman, Chris Souter, WTRP News.